If you play Genshin Impact, you know just how requiring it can feel at times. With daily commissions and resin capping every day, it feels like you need to get on every day. Along with that, there's many story quests, much exploration, and character building on top of that. It can feel very taxing at times, leading to many players getting burnt out. Today I thought it would be interesting to showcase my account as a player who plays super casually and with quite a few breaks throughout my Genshin career, but since release, yeah, let's get into it. What's up guys, I'm Shadows, and welcome to my channel if you're new here. You most likely are because I haven't made a video in a very long time, but I'll talk about that and channel plans at the end of the video. Today we're just going to be reviewing my account and progress I've made, characters I've built, stuff like that. I'm a very casual Genshin player, I play at my own pace to avoid burnout and just to have fun. I've been playing since the first week the game came out, very first version, but I've done so with quite a few breaks. So I at least try to get on and do my dailies every day, but I did take a very big break from like the end of Inazuma until right before Fontaine came out. I didn't play at all, but besides that I play pretty consistently at least like 20 minutes a day. Some days I will grind though. I'm near free to play, I've spent some money, I've spent a little bit on Raiden's banner, and then I've probably bought maybe 5 battle passes and some Welkins. I usually have the Welkins, so I'm like a light spender. But yeah, let's get into the account. So I just took a peek at my Hoyo Lab app, and I have 540 days logged in. So it's not as many days as I thought, honestly, but I do be grinding some days. I would give a rough estimate, maybe around 1500 hours in game. Not too sure though, because there's no way to check. But we'll start with achievements and exploration. So, achievements 473, pretty low, pretty low, but not too bad. And then exploration, we'll start over here in Mondstadt. So Mondstadt is definitely my highest, still not even 100%, except for Gale Song Hill. But I don't do too much exploring. I'm in college, so I don't really have much time to play video games. But as you can see here, it's like all around like 30 to 50%. I feel like Sumeru is definitely a lower average because, like I said, I didn't play when they were releasing Sumeru. So only 14% down here. But then Fontaine, it jumps back up a bit. I've really enjoyed Fontaine and I've been playing a lot since it came out. And then Chen Yu Valley is pretty low too. Down here in Inazuma, we've got like pretty low as well, honestly. But. Yeah, I don't explore too much. I mainly enjoy building characters. So we'll move on to the next thing. Next we'll take a look at my completed quests and reputation levels. So reputation levels are definitely one thing I've lacked in. I literally only get them from like doing world quests. So I would guess most regions I have maybe a third to half of the world quests done. Mondstadt, my reputation is six. Liyue and Fontaine, it's 4, and Inazuma, it's 3. And then, as for story and main quest, you can see those here, so... I'm fully caught up on, like, the main Archon quest, and then... I still need to do, like, the Chasm one, and there's one more. And then here's story quests. I definitely haven't done as many of these as I'd like. But they're not horrible. So I'll show you guys a quick glance of my inventory. I'm not going to show weapons just because I don't want to spoil the characters. But I might come back and show you weapons, I'm not sure. So here's like valuables, you know, you got your oculuses and your sigils. So this is looking alright, not too bad. I do like the Master of the Stardust here being a low spender. Quest items. Gadgets. I love this guy. I wish I had more of these pets billets and specialty items, stuff like that, food, resources, so we have 595 heroes wits, decent world drops, decent talent drops, 5 crowns at the moment, those will probably be going quick. Alright, now it's time for the fun part, the part I'm most proud of. So I just want to say right off the bat, um, I'm not like a massive min-maxer, nor do I care about like super value. So I just try to build the characters how I like them and to the best of my ability, but I'm not like spending hours researching this stuff. So we gotta go kind of quick. We'll start with Farina. Farina was great to me. I got her on C2 without spending any money. I just some wishes saved up. So that's great. I don't have her weapon, but Jade Cutter works decent on her. I'll show the stats real quick. 
I would like to get this crit damage up, maybe the rate down a little bit in trade, but haven't been able to. I have so many things I need to use my resin on. Tartaglia, R5 stringless, I'm currently in the process of switching that out for this, just as a stat stick, but I'm completely rebuilding him, I don't like his build. How I originally did it, he was like one of the first characters I ever got, so I need to rebuild him, but like I said, resin is always an issue. Yunjin, she's she's a fun little buffer, I built her for Tartaglia, but I think I have another use case for her in the future, so she's alright. She's got a nice defense stat, which is what she scales off of. Jean, I love Jean, especially since Farina came out. Her skin is sick. I love this sword with her too, I just think it looks really nice with the Jean skin. Talon's pretty good, crowned burst. C2, unfortunately, I'd rather have more standard banner characters, but she's C2. Raiden is probably one of my most prideful, if not my most build because I put so much time into farming her crit and ER ratios so her artifacts are pretty good for my account standards they're not like insane but they're definitely good for my account I love playing with Raiden she's so fun to play with double crowned C0 Diluc is a character I personally don't really like I don't really use him at all anymore but he's alright. I used to like him a lot more than I do now. D2, unfortunately, again, I'm missing a lot of standard characters. I should probably get his talents up, but I don't really use him. Kingling, as I like to say, he's pretty good. R5 catch. Her artifacts are kind of lacking, honestly, but she's C6, so I love using her, especially in the Abyss. Jing Cho, I also love using the two classic free-to-plays. He's got a decent build. Sack Sword, I believe he's C6. Yep, C6. Kazuha, C0. I've been rebuilding him. I used to have him as like a crit, attack, kind of burst DPS type thing. Now I'm building him as more of a support for EM, so... His build is a little wonky right now, but it's not too bad. R5 Sting... Talents are pretty good, I believe. Yep. Oh, and I don't think I've showed these, but here's those. Yai, she's one of my favorite design characters in the game. I love Yai. I built her pretty good crit ratio. I really spent a lot of time on her, and she's also one of the only people I have a signature weapon for, so that's really cool. Talents are pretty good. I need to crown this for sure. I will soon, but not yet. Nahida, recent pickup on the Nahida rerun. Like I said, I didn't really play during Sumeru, so she's actually been a really fun pickup. I still haven't used her a ton. I mean, I don't even have her on Friendship 10, but she's been a blast to use. I just have Sack Frag on her. C0. Talents are pretty decent. Dendro Traveler was my Nahida substitute for Hyper Bloom teams for a long time. So he's actually built pretty decent, I would say. And yeah, what, he's at Constellation 5, so yeah. Nouvellet. So Nouvellet and Farina are definitely the luckiest people on my account. Nouvellet, I actually was like trying to get some of that Masterless Stardust or whatever. And I did a one pull on a weapon banner and I got his weapon. And so I was like, oh man, I might as well pull for Nouvellet. And so I did a 10 pull and I got him first try. So then I ended up going all in with all the wishes I had saved up. Got this to R2. Got him to C1. And I mean, he's just an absolute beast. Anyone who has Nuvolet knows this. And then obviously his crit rate goes up even more with the Hunter set, so... He's pretty cracked. I need to get this up to 10 so he's triple crowned. Kokomi. I used to play a lot more Kokomi than I do now. Her build is definitely, like, not good. If you're trying to build, like, a really good Kokomi, but... I mean, she works. You don't really need to build, like, a crazy Kokomi. C0. Crown talent. And Arlecchino, obviously a recent pickup since she just came out. Only Friendship 4. She's a blast. I mean, her build is still not great for me, so it's working on it right now. But, I mean, I was lucky enough to get her weapon, so that was pretty annoying. Actually, I'm, I'm fully dry on wishes right now. But I did get her weapon. I love the aesthetic of it. I know her C1 is probably better, but like the, the weapon is so cool, man. It turns into a scythe, so... Talents are getting there, I just barely crowned her normal attack, I gotta wait for the 
the weekly boss to reset. Sara, I actually really like running Sara just as a Raiden buffer. I mean, she's crazy for buffing Raiden. So I built her back in the day when she first came out. Got her C6 because I literally had to hit Pity twice for Raiden. But that's alright. Bennett, I mean, you gotta love Bennett. My Bennett definitely doesn't have like a great build, but he's fun to use and it's just circle impact, you know. He's pretty good. I, I don't know if I'll ever do this, but... Yeah, crown crown ultimate is all you really need on on Bennett. Charlotte, this one I like her. I like her because I don't really have any cryo characters as you can tell. But her build is pretty bad. I haven't put nearly enough time into it. So she's one I'll have to get up in the future. But she's actually pretty fun to use. I got her C six when I was pulling for Nuvolet, I think, or maybe Farina. And finally, Kuki. She's my last like actually built character. I haven't used her much, and her build is not great either, but I don't know. She was kind of a letdown for me. I saw all this hype about her, and I didn't really like her that much, so I do need to go back and build her, though, because she's pretty useful, and she's pretty OP, too, so I wish I had her constellations. Maybe that's why I'm missing out on the hype, but yeah, and then here's the rest of these characters I have. I mean, I haven't built any of them good, but there is a character I'm going to be building here in the short future in a different video. Ningguang, it's a shame she's not good because her skin is really cool. I like that skin. And I guess I could show you guys the constellations since they're not built, but they're they're decent constellations. Fishal on C0 kind of sucks, but I recently got Gaming on C6, so I've considered building him, but I don't know if I will now that I have Arlequino. So yeah, that's basically it for characters. And skim through the, the weapons real quick. I think there was a few I didn't show. So my only signature weapons are Arlequino, Nuvolet, and DI. But you know, those are actually pretty good ones to have the signature weapons for, so I'm happy with my characters. Obviously I'm working on them every day. Building characters is my favorite thing in this game. Just that resin, man. So that's basically my account, guys. There's not much else to show you. I mean, I showed you my inventory, my exploration, my quest progress, and my characters. So let me know what you guys think. I know it's not a great account for someone who's played since the game came out. But like I said, I just play for fun. So let me know if you guys have any feedback or if there's any character I, like, severely built wrong. But, yeah, um, I wanted to talk about if I think it's worth it for new players to start the game at this moment in time if they haven't. I think they should, because Natland's coming out soon, and I know this game can feel, like, overwhelming sometimes, and like, oh, I don't want to get on Genshin, but I can't miss my Welkin sign-in, or I can't miss my commissions or something, or my resin, but really, just have fun with the game, guys. I mean, I took a long break at some point, so do it if you really need to, but in the end of the day, it's just a game. Just play it however you have most fun with it. And as for channel plans, guys, I'm going to start making YouTube videos again. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you guys are here from the old Rust videos, or even the Genshin videos a couple years before that. But it's hard for me to stay consistent with YouTube, I'm very busy, but I'm going to try to make more time for it. I'm going to start making Genshin videos most likely, because it's the only game I actually stick with. I don't play Rust anymore, just because that game is its too much, man. I do play some other games other than Genshin, like GeoGuessr. So I could consider making videos on other games in the future, but I think I'll stick with Genshin for my main game. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully this was entertaining, and let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.